Hey guys, so I have been driving through British Columbia and I am trying to get to Alaska and oh my God, I just traveled the longest stretch of open forest I have ever in my life. It was a long time before I saw any sign of human activity, any structures or anything. And uh, I started to get scared because I was on, uh, I was on empty, but I was on like, I was half of a quarter of a tank. So I was, I was pretty afraid, but thank God I got to this gas station. It's like a, I don't know, a trucker's gas station, but they also have gasoline and <clears throat> prices are, are through the roof. Unfortunately, I, I, I basically filled up a tank and it was 78 bucks. So, but hey, I want to go to Alaska. It was my idea. So I, I did chat with uh, a woman who said, you willing to uh, just uh, give me some feedback on, uh, you know, the travel, the trip it takes to get to Alaska. So anyways, what is your name? Lindsay. Lindsay, okay, so this is Lindsay. And uh, we were just talking about how, you know, a lot of people stop at their gas station. Is this just a straight up gas station or what? It's actually a commercial card lock, right? Commercial so card lock. it's usually people that have fleet cards. And, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And so you, you, you see a lot of people come in here on fumes, you said. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because when they leave for St. John, they're not realizing how long of a stretch it is, yeah. right? Without being able to get fuel, or there are some card locks along that stretch, yeah. but people aren't really sure what they are. Right. So they normally won't stop. Right. So they may fill up in like Dawson Creek, yeah. will be the last time they fill up. Yeah. And it's quite often we have people showing up with jerry cans or needing a jerry can to go rescue their vehicle. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. yeah. And that's what I was afraid of. Like. <laughs> Five minutes ago, I was I was concerned I was going to be one of those people. So. Yeah, and there's not a lot of signage. That's what I thought. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm waiting to see a sign that makes me feel at ease, but it did not come fast. Yeah. Hi, Haley. Haley. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you guys have both worked here a long time. She's been here longer than I have. Yeah. I'm five years this July, and I'm twelve years. I okay. came here. Yeah. Gotcha. But Haley's been born and raised yeah. Fort Nelson, um, so. True and true, unfortunately. So. Okay. Is it like what's the population of the town? Um, maybe thirty five hundred. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. So a pretty small town. Yeah, yeah. it's gotcha. very small. So most people going down this highway, down this road ninety seven, are going to Alaska. Is that true? Yeah, I would say in April it starts. I mean, yeah. when COVID, it was just there was nothing. Yeah. Right. So it's nice to see. It's nice to see some people coming through again. Right. Right. But a lot of, I would say the majority of people that stop at around fumes yeah. are usually headed to Alaska, yeah. never been in this area before. Right. Right. So I would say that's probably the majority of the traffic. Are they people yeah. like me? Are they like vagabonds, like traveling for an adventure or are they mm -hmm. like, yeah. 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 Most people do, well, because the Alcan is historic, right? Yeah. The Highway 97 right. itself is historic. So um, they'll hit most of the spots along the highway. So there's a couple of nice, really provincial, really nice provincial parks mm. along the highway. So you've got Summit Lake and then you've got Muncho Lake as well as the Liard Hot Springs, which is also historic. Yeah. Um, the soldiers, when they were building the highway, they actually would go to the hot springs right. when they were done working and they would go soak and then go Clean back themselves. to camp. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a couple of spots along the highway that most people hit on their way up and then on their way back as well. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. ha, have, have I gone by the hot springs? No, yet? no, okay. you're still about three and a half hours from there. Okay, maybe I'll mm -hmm. do that. Oh, you should. You it's, have to. Yeah. I'll clean myself up. <laughs> you don't <laughs> have to worry about <laughs> grabbing a shower in town. Just yeah. hit the, the hot, hot springs. The springs. There yeah. you go. Take your bar of soap. Yes. Cool. All right, well, thank you for chatting with us. Yeah, you And I uh, appreciate the information.